I have to go? You know the drill. And I'm sweating like a whore in church on Sunday. What day is it? What day is it? <sighs> Forgive me, Father, for I've sinned. It's been too long since my last confession. How have you sinned? I've been trying to stay clean. I had a one night stand, you know, trying to get out there again. Do eight Hail Marys. Wait, I'm not done. So, you know, I'm hanging with my homegirl. Bitch uses up all my coke. I mean, come on. So we drive to our dealer, fucking brats are wailing. Hold on a sec. So only two of her kids are on my lap when the fucking sirens go off. No, I shouldn't have been driving with them on my lap. My sister's kids got completely obnoxious. Tried to hit them to shut them up. <laughs> that didn't work. So we handcuffed them for speed. Anyway, I thought I could outrun the cops. Kids all like going fast, you know? <laughs> Perhaps I ought to confess something. Why do I have to go in? I don't trust any man that gives up pussy for life. Something ain't right. It's this or jail? Fine. Hello? Hello, can anyone hear me? Any dark robed child molesters in there? I don't do confession boots. I'll do it in one, though. You're not allowed to fuck, are you? Language! How can I help you? I suppose this is what I'm supposed to say. Forgive me, Father, for using our Lord's name in vain, and for my sins, of course, <clears throat> of which there are many. Blah, blah, blah. So I warned my girl, the whore. I told her to make the kids smoke a joint. She said no. So we look for some quaaludes so I can break off a bit for them. Then the cops pull up. She stops the car. We get busted for possession and fucking child endangerment. Can you believe it? I'm their fucking mother. Who's going to keep them safer than me? What? So we both go to a counselling on account of the meth that they found. And my girl's mad because the amount of drugs that the cops found was less than what she had in her purse. I only snorted like 20 bucks worth, not enough to end a relationship. I was only kind of stealing. God, I do feel better. Jesus. What the fuck are you looking at me for? I'm not an eight-year-old boy. Fucking creep. Perhaps I ought to confess something. You rape little boys? Well, by definition, all sex is a violation of clerical celibacy. So pedophilia is no better or worse than sex with a woman. In fact, there's no basis in the scriptures for clerical celibacy. It wasn't mandated by Christ. It's not justified anywhere in the gospel. So who came up with this concept, huh? Clerical celibacy? Well, back in the day when a married priest died, his inheritance would go to his eldest son. And the church... They didn't like that so much. So they imposed a law of celibacy. So when he died, his belongings would go to the church. And so the story goes. But there's a little problem with this. Because, you know, even priests have urges.
Look up. God will save you. He will save us all. He works in mysterious ways. their babysitter. All I can do is set up the appointment and if they don't show there's nothing I can do about that. All right, I'll keep my eyes and ears open. Thanks. Hi. So we're looking at $65 worth of stolen merchandise, so 65 hours of community service sounds right. <laughs> Your appointment with Father Kane is on Sunday, April 13th at 1 p.m. at St. Andrew's Church. Address is on the card. Your appointment is at 3. Don't be late. bringing disaster from the north, even terrible destruction. God loves you.